Hello all, there's been some interest shown in some of my previous videos about the power connectors I use for my corded power tools. So this vid is all about them, including how to fit and why I use them. Their Nutrick Powercon True One, a locking waterproof connector, good for 240 volt at 16 amp. I'll leave links in the description. The tools themselves are all fitted with the male connector. On my dust extractor, I have a power cable with the female connector, encased in a hose wrap keeping things tidy, permanently plugged into the power takeoff, to which I just fix the power tool I need without coiling or untangling cables. In the box on top of the vac that I store my extraction adapters and such, I keep an extra 4 meter cable with a female Nutrit connector when I just want to use the tool or the tool is too high wattage for the power takeoff. Not all my tools have these connectors as yet, but the next victim on the circumcision list is my big circular saw which has meters and meters of cable. The plug kits just arrive in a zip bag, and most often sold separately, but you can find them sold in pairs or fives. The terminal block of the connector has little clamping plates for secure connection of the live, neutral and ground wires, screwed in place with a T7 Torx bit. As you need to stack the top two pieces before screwing the connector together, you want to leave yourself about 60mm of cord to seat those, then another 30mm on top of that for leaving yourself room to strip the wires, about 90 to 100mm altogether to give yourself room. If you wanted the connector tight to the tool body, you'd need to open the tool, remove the power cable, fit the connector, then make the adjustment at the terminals inside the tool for perfect tight fit. I like a bit of dangle on mine personally. I remove about 25mm of the cables out of sheath, then strip around 10mm from the wires. Once stripped, slide the back part of the connector on, followed by the white clamp piece. The watertight seal might put up a bit of a fight sliding the back part on, but take no prisoners, get it on there. We're now ready to nip the wires tight in the terminal. It's just the live and neutral in most power tool leads. The white clamping piece has a particular position where it seats onto the terminal. Just turn it a little until you feel it seat. The outer cover too seats in a specific position on the terminal block so again twist a little until you feel it free up to push on. Then the whole lot can be screwed together. Worth mentioning that the reason the male connectors are on the tool is that the terminal pins are exposed to a wayward finger. This could be lethal on a live cable. The female plug, although with similar pins inside, has a plastic covering keeping fingers out. To connect, offset the buttons a little, push together, then turn to lock. Now it's testy time. Nice. To undo, just push the button on the female and twist. So for me, along with the ease of switching tools to connect to the vac, I find the lack of cable makes putting your kit back in their cases so much easier with less messing about. It can also free up enough room to double up tools and cases. Perhaps not for everyone, but I really like these. Thanks for watching.